Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is Yan with Xinhua News Agency. Now you are watching the Xinhua Live. So now next to me is China's first third generation pressurized water nuclear reactor. We know that last month China's Hualong One demonstration project has been completed and put into commercial operation. So you may ask, what is Hualong One? Is it the name of this nuclear power plant? No, here we are at Fuqing Nuclear Power Plant in Fujian Province in East China. And the nuclear power plant is just named after the city in where it's located. So is the name of the reactor? Mm, not exactly. Hualong One, or you can call it HPR 1000, is the third generation nuclear power brand or you can technology to which China has exclusive intellectual property rights. HPR 1000 is jointly developed by the China National Nuclear Corporation CNC and the China General Nuclear Power Group CGN. And we can see that the building in front of us uh, is what we call the nuclear island. And in the center of it, we can see uh, that's the nuclear reactor, uh, but it has a really thick shelled building to cover it. And the outer circle of the center is the external water tank for the emergency. And also we can see those uh, different colors of pipes, they are ventilation areas of the building and in these buildings we can see some like uh, diesel generator uh, areas and also other necessary equipment that we what we can see Some of you may know that last month, the number six unit, the country's second nuclear power unit using Hualong One, has met commercial operation conditions, according to the CNC. It means that China's Hualong One demonstration project has been completed and put into commercial operation. The project's two nuclear power units are expected to generate nearly 20 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually, equivalent to the reduction of 6.24 million tons of standard coal consumption and 16.3 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions. The project's completion is of great significance to the optim optimization of China's energy structure and the promotion of green and low carbon development, and it will help the country achieve its carbon peaking and neutrality goals. So, to make you guys better know about our Huanlong One reactor, today we will go inside the six unit, the newly built one, and we will interview an engineer here. Let's go! Okay, we can see that the inspection area, the inspection check of the nuclear power plant is really strict. So I have to wear uh, certain clothes. And also, I before this live started, I have already uh, been the process of the disinfection. So, okay, we can see that's the entrance of our unit 6. So here we also have to use our card and enter the password. Hello everyone, for those who just entered our live, this is Yang with Xinhua News Agency and now you're watching the Xinhua Live. Now we are at the Fuqing Nuclear Power Plant and today we'll discover our Hualong One reactor. So let's go to see it.
So now we are in the building of number six unit, the country's second nuclear power unit using Huarong One, and it's located in the city of Fuqing in East China's Fujian province, and has met commercial operation conditions. The first Huarong One unit, the number five unit, entered commercial operation in January 2021. Okay, so now we're going up floors on the six floors to meet our guest, the ship supervisors of Unit 6, Li Zonglin. It seems to take us a while before arriving at the destination, so here are more information about Hualong Wan for you guys. That is a new nuclear power unit in Pakistan, powered by the Hualong One reactor. The China-developed third-generation nuclear reactor has started commercial operation. Okay, so now we're arriving at the sixth floor. We're going to the main control room of our Hualong One nuclear plant. So first, I have to take off my hat. Okay, so today is working day, so we can see all the stuff around here. Okay, we see our guest. Hello, Mr. Li. Hello, Mr. Li. Oh, and uh, he is uh, Li Zhonglin, and he's the shift supervisor of our Unit 6. Uh, hello, Mr. Li. So uh, we are going to the main control room. Can yeah. we show you the road? This way, please. Oh, thank you. And this is the, the main control room. Mm, let's get it. Okay, inspection is pretty strict here. Okay. Okay, everybody's working, so we can like speaking a little voice. Mm. Uh, hello, everybody. This is the Hualong's main control room. Let me introduce you about it. The main control room, like the brain of the nuclear power plant, is connected to all the equipment and processing systems of the plant. So I see the staff are working here. Who are they? They are the licensed operators. The shifts of the operators are on duty 24 hours all day to control and monitor the data collected from the site in real time. And can you introduce us to what their daily work about or what they are doing now? The operators are known as the goldman. They send the instructions for unique operation from here. The operators need to know every system and even all the major components of the plan well. They are qualified to operate on the unit only after passing series of training and assessments and get operation license issued by a national regulator. Yes, Mr. Lee, I can see that their work should be really precise and it's a pretty difficult job. And the other question is, I'm wondering, uh, like each uh, nuclear power plant, the safety is of the big concerns. So I'm wondering how to ensure people's safety here. Do you have any regulations related to that? Oh, let me show you the operation blocking office this way. Okay, let's go to the office. It's where is it? Oh, it's pretty near. Oh, yeah, let's go. To the Oh, this way. Okay. Okay, so now we're arriving the operation blocking room. So, Mr. Lee, can you introduce us, like, what this place about? Of course. Uh, this is the operation blocking office. It's where we handle the on-site work permit. The purpose is to make every nuclear power worker safe and ensure the nuclear safety. All on-site activities follow the one permit, one work system. The field operators carry out the work step by step according to the work permit. The operations in the field request at least two working staff at the same time. 
after confirming the work to be implemented. One staff shall feedback the implementation and the other staff shall monitor the process to ensure no gap occurs in each step. This is the concurrent dial verification and three-way communication in the human error prevention tools. The nuclear power plant used these tools to avoid occurrence of errors caused by human limited nature. So, Mr. Lee, I'm wondering if I can go to see some operation area of our Hualong One reactor. Of course, let's go. Okay, uh, so is this the building we're going to? So, what is this about? Uh, it's the turbine building. Oh, okay. <laughs> So now we are going to the upper. Uh, which floor? Where are we going to? Uh, the second. The second floor. Yes. Okay. So we can see they have the height here. Here we are arriving the turbine building of the six unit. I guess here is pretty noisy here. Yeah. Uh, how does it work about the turbine building for our uh, Hualong One reactor? The nuclear reaction takes place in the pressure vessel of the primary loop, generating energy and heating the water to over 300 degrees. The water in the primary loop successfully transfers the heat to the secondary loop in the steam generator. The steam will rush into the turbine and make the turbine rotate rapidly. The steam turbine and the generator act as a pair of twin brothers. They are on the same shaft. They rotate together and the power is transformed baby. The principle of power generation in nuclear power plants could be simply concluded as 
the fission reaction of nuclear fuel generate the heat. The heat is changed, generated the steam. The steam drives the steam turbine to rotate, and the steam turbine drives the generator to run up, meaning that the power is finally generated. Okay, Mr. Lee, we've already uh, visited the turbine building and also the main control room. So now we are arriving at the roof of the Unit 6. Um, I want to ask some questions about our Hualong 1 reactor. So first is about the safety. We know the safety is always of the big concerns for each nuclear power plant. Uh, so how about our Hualong 1 to ensure the safety? Mm. The Hualong 1 Creative combined the active and passive safety system in safety design and adopts the 177 fuel assemblies design. The nuclear fuel assemblies are self-developed and achieved an 18-month refueling cycle. Qualon 1 also adopts advanced design concepts such as single unit layout and double layer containment with large free volume. It also owns thorough prevention and mitigation measures for severe accidents and enhanced protection capability, satisfying highest safety standard in the international nuclear industry. Okay, Mr. Lee, so you've mentioned about the passive and active safety system. So what's the difference between them? Among them, the difference between the so-called passive safety system and active safety system is that passive safety systems do not need power when the power supplied from internal and external are both lost. The passive sa safety systems could rely on the gravity and temperature difference to provide power so as to circulate the cooling water and remove the residual heat from reactor accident. To conclude, it would better ensure the nuclear safety. The development of Hualong One technology adheres to independent innovation in design and grasps the core technologies. Hualong One is fully capable of mass construction. As a name car in nuclear industry of China's global national strategy, Hualong One has now become one of the third generation nuclear unit technologies, owning the highest acceptance in the international nuclear market. It is an innovative achievement of the third generation pressurized water reactor nuclear power technology with fully independent intellectual property rights by China and developed and designed based on over 30 years of experience in the research, design, construction, operation and management of China nuclear power industry. It has become a preferred scheme of nuclear reactant units by China to the world. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Uh, the technology was surprised everybody and uh, uh, we are really a privilege to come here today. And that's, I also believe that is the name card of China's nuclear power to the world. Also, this is of great significance for optimizing China's energy mix, facilitating green and low carbon uh, development. So that's all about today's life, ladies and gentlemen. If you are interested more in the Hualong One reactor and other China's uh, interesting technology, advanced technology, please subscribe our channel. So see you next time.